Tips pour in about the highway shootings. MoDOT stats show that more drivers have been traveling through that area, commonly referred to as the Grandview Triangle. Now, Brenda Lisa Gonzalez is live at the businesses there on Hickman Mills near the highways. Brenda Lisa said businesses, they're saying the opposite there. They're not seeing an increase in traffic. They're not. They wish they were. And you'd think that this auto shop was in the prime location. I mean, you've got multiple highways right next door, but there have been many fewer drivers here pulling up since news of the shootings broke out. There's a lot of cleaning up at the Complete Auto Center. But you can't clean every day. It's mid-afternoon, and only three cars have shown up for a tire change. So pretty much sitting and uh, trying to see if people want to come in. Onesmus Bossere is one of two mechanics left at the shop. Three others were told not to come in. Thinking like it may get busy, we call them in, but uh, it hasn't changed at all. Bossere blames the triangle less than a half a mile from the shop. That's where at least seven shootings have been reported. Basically, we are right, right in the center where this has been happening. Now drivers like Pat Turner are taking alternative routes. I'm just a word cautious. You have to be cautious. For Bossere, there's one reassurance. His competition also near the highways. They are pretty much slow as we do. Because when you pass and you see people sitting, uh, no cars out there, then you know like it's tough for all of us. Even when business does pick up, it's still not enough to pay the bills. We break like we, they get this guy soon. And now patience is wearing thin. MoDOT tells another story. They're saying that there are about 5,000 more drivers headed on the highways since news broke of these shootings. Live in Kansas City, Brenda Luis Gonzalez, 41 Action News.